If you're playing someone that is spamming a corner route over and over, there's a simple adjustment to stop this. You want to call a man defense. You want to make sure the defense isn't pressed because you don't want to get quickly beat off the line. And all you simply have to do is shade your defense to the outside by pressing the wire triangle button and then right on the right analog stick. This is going to have your man defense play more aggressively to the sideline and it will shut down the corner. Another annoying thing to stop are read options because QBs like Lamar Jackson can get huge yardage on this, but there's one simple adjustment that will completely shut this down. Simply pull up your coaching adjustments at the play call screen by clicking in your right analog stick and then you want to go down to option defense and put this on conservative. This will tell your defense to play the quarterback and not the running back. As long as you have defenders in the box you can defend the running back but if they try to keep it with the QB which is what they want to do they will lose yards every time. Speaking of running the ball these are the best run plays in Madden. What you want to do is call a RPO stretch from under center. It can be in single back, it can be in I formation, every playbook has them and and these are the toughest to stop runs in the game because the defense simply does not react well to them since there is a passing component. If you want to stop a scrambling quarterback, there's a secret way to stop this. You want to take a fast linebacker, you want to select him, press the A or X button, and then go left on the right stick to put him into a spy. But when the QB starts to roll out, you want to click the right analog stick in as if it was a button, and that's going to cause him to start running at the QB and he will not be able to get positive yards. If you want to run faster in the open field to ensure that a trailing defender doesn't catch you, you can can spam the RB or R1 button over and over once you're ahead of the defense. For some reason, this just causes your player to move faster as he's constantly switching the ball between hands. It gives him a little bit of a hiccup in his run that makes him move faster and you won't get caught. The best pass play in Madden is the play double post out of the gun bunch offset formation. These are the playbooks where you can find this play. I recommend the Eagles playbook. All you want to do is take your middle receiver and hot route him to a drag route and you'll be able to beat literally every defense in the game. You've got two underneath routes that work against zone and man. You've got a post route that beats man every single time and you can throw a quick flat to the tight end versus zone coverage. If you're having trouble stopping underneath routes like drags and flats, what you want to do is call a cover three defense and then before the play you want to shade your defense down by pressing the wire triangle button down on the right stick and what this is going to do is have all your intermediate zones play more aggressively underneath and they will clamp down on these short routes that people love to throw. The easiest blitz in the game can be found out of the four formation nickel 3-3 cub and the play is the mike blitz zero you simply don't have to do any setup on this just simply user a safety and if they do not block extra players you're going to get somebody free at the quarterback very quickly and even if they do block somebody this formation tends to get fast block sheds and you'll still put a lot of pressure on the quarterback and if you want to learn about the actual best and most dominant blitzes and madden tactics in the game you can check out my patreon linked below in the pinned comment the juke move is the most powerful move in madden but a lot of people do not run it correctly you want to make sure when you're juking that your running back is on a 45 degree angle. You want to be running at that diagonal at your defender and then you want to simply flick your right analog stick back to the inside and this is going to cause you to fake out defenders almost every time. You never want to be head on. You want to be at the 45 degree angle. Recovering onside kicks has never been easier in Madden and this is the secret way to do it. You want to select the strong onside option. You want to click Y or triangle before your kick to select the high kick option and you want to stop your kick meter at about 80% on the way up and then you want to stop the accuracy around the same spot on the way down. This is going to high point the ball at the perfect spot where the receiving team has to go up for a high catch and he will drop the ball most of the time creating a live ball and giving you a good opportunity to recover. Now, if you want to learn about the best offensive scheme in all of Madden, make sure to check out this video right here on the screen.